Art is everything. In my personal opinion, everything that exists is art in some capacity. This conversation is art. I do visual art, dancing, cooking, um, writing, it's all art. It's probably easier to try to figure out what's not art as opposed to what is art. I like to tell people that I make portals. And that's kind of how I go into making a lot of my artwork. I transport wherever I'm at in my mind space and try to put it into a canvas piece so that you, the viewer, can also experience and enjoy that scene that, and step into the portal almost. Once I started doing larger works, it just became bigger portals. And so a lot of them would be landscapes at the beach, in the woods, walking through some mystical forest or some fantasy type scene that may or may not actually exist, but you kind of want it to. And you can kind of lose yourself in that if you stare at it long enough. I went to school for art, went to UW-Stevens Point. I got a Bachelor's of Fine Arts. I really call it a degree in problem solving because it applies to a lot of different areas. I just happen to make things look pretty. So I got uh, contacted to do a painting on a unique item that I hadn't painted before. It's a wash tub. And the clients make wash tub bases as in the instrument. And so I came up with this design. So this is the general idea that I'm gonna be working off of. Right now, today, I'm gonna to be working on the background of this scene. So I didn't know a ton about what or where I wanted to do in art world. I didn't have like a niche. I loved art, I loved making things. And so it was just a lot of trial and error. When I was in college, I actually didn't like painting. <laughs> I wasn't a painter. I didn't like landscapes. That's not what I did at all. It wasn't until I studied abroad in Italy uh, as an undergrad and I saw artists using spray paint to create these pop art kind of designs on like canvas and poster board. And I became fascinated with the process. I wanted to know how, why, where, what, so between my little bit of Italian and their little bit of English, we kind of communicated to figure out and whenever I wasn't doing artwork, I was at the square, on the plaza, looking for other artists. What are you doing? How are you doing it? Um, I tend to, I had avoided spray painting for a long time just because it does have a negative connotation. But this was a new way to kind of spin the idea of what spray paint can do. And I really liked that challenge. I mostly started with kind of the space scenes and seeing where I can go from there and fell in love with playing with spray paint on a smaller scale. You would assume that I would have started larger right away, but I really started kind of small. I could easily just like get rid of these and throw them out when I'm done with them because I use a lot of spray paint cans. But being a creative person, I always think I can make other things with the things that I have. And I'm like, well, why not make something with the thing that I use to make something? Spray cans. And so they're unique canvases. They're kind of um, sculptural in a way because once you put something on them and decorate them, then they become a, a, somewhat of a sculpture piece. And so once I have these empty cans and I have them laying all over the place in my, in my home and in my studio, I decided to just paint a couple for the background and then draw on them with paint marker. Uh, this one is, is kind of some of the normal things I like to paint. Something with a moon in it, something with mountains, dark blues and uh, darker skies. I really enjoy those kind of scenes. And so I thought it'd be kind of fun to have one of these that could be put on a shelf somewhere and, and someone can enjoy it a little bit in like their office or in a, they might not have a space for a, a larger piece or space on their wall at all because maybe they got a lot of artwork already. And it's keep giving another life to something that I already used to give life to and something else. Keep it cans. <laughs> <laughs> From there, 
I just kept dabbling in it, trying different things, trying different services. What can I paint? What can't I paint? Can I paint this garbage can? Can I paint this helmet? Can I paint this skateboard? Can I, you know, and just kept dabbling in different things and just getting larger and larger until eventually I started doing murals. I was uh, contacted by a business called Shore West and they wanted to have this big Instagrammable space for people to come and take photos in front of at Summerfest. And we just kind of went back and forth about what ideas they may have had, what my strong suits are. We landed on the theme of space. And, but we wanted it to be kind of fun, not just your normal, this is a space painting. And so I came up with the idea of kind of a sky, open blue sky kind of feel, and almost like someone's holding balloons. And the balloons are the shapes of planets. So it's space, something fun for a kid or anyone that loves balloons and airy space. And it's something that people can stand in front of, feel fun, cool. Hey, let's have a nice round of applause. Black Cat Alley is awesome. They, they had a call out. I applied. I had an idea in mind. I had a design. It's of my daughter. She's reading a book. It's a silhouette of a girl with a big ponytail. Uh, first thing I always tell people is I'm a stay home dad. That, that is my first job and foremost thing that I do most of the day. And I'm a professional artist doing nap time or when my wife's home. <laughs> my little tagline. <laughs> now, at the time, that was my largest mural. And I, that's one I was like, I was super proud of when I first was working on it because one, my daughter's in it as a silhouette. And I try to put my daughter in as many of my murals as I can. I want her to see herself on a large scale and many different places that she can, as many of these places she can. I want her to feel at home wherever we are. And so whenever I have the opportunity, I'll, I'll include her in a mural. Back to when I said my work is like a portal, a lot of the things I do kind of are portals as well. I, I watch anime and read comic books that's transporting you from this realm to whatever that world is through art. I think everything benefits my artwork. Everything informs me in some capacity and whether I am conscious of it or not, my brain kind of takes those ideas and formulates them into something else that I might not recognize right away. And then just random things that I want to see together that may not exist or may not make sense together, but in my mind, I'm curious, what if I put them together? What if I make a, a forest scene, but then there's a little portal of planets coming out? What does that look like? What does that feel like? General curiosity along with all those things kind of go hand in hand that eventually comes out in some form of art. Thanks for watching the Arts Page. Please like, subscribe, and turn on notifications for more stories of art in our community.